Welcome. My name is Paula. I'm glad everybody got to join me today. I hope you're all enjoying the cooking channels and videos. Um, today I am going to do a um, chicken recipe I saw online. And it calls for some chicken breasts. And I'm going to use four of them. And I'm going to slice them in half. Um, kind of like a filet. And then I'm going to use some sour cream, cream of mushroom. And uh, for my budget, it calls for um, some jar beef. And if you've never seen it before, uh, it's my first. And it's totally a little salty. And it is a little expensive for just when I was looking at the jar of beef. She happened to tell me that there is an alternative. Um, and it's, uh, it's in the little packages. I'm not trying to show brands. I'm not getting paid for it or anything like that. But um, these were not anything but you know, I'm just letting you know, budget-wise, I'm going to try using this today. I'm going to do a comparison of the difference. Okay. And so um, I'm using sour cream. Now, you don't have to use any brand. You can use not brand for budget-wise. It's just my preference. And then um, my cream cheese, my cream of mushroom, um, you can use not brand. It's just what I have on hand. And I'm just trying to go through my cans that I have on on hand so I can go through them and move them out of the way. Okay, I have bacon as well. And I'm going to be cutting these in half. And uh, I just use an off brand as well on this. It's not really stressful for me to use a name brand on that either. Okay, so we're going to begin. So uh, I have my glass pan. We're going to be baking it. And I am going to Spray my pan down just so that this doesn't stick on um, online. And I heard, I read a lot of different responses off of it, and nobody could give a name for it. They call it chicken with gravy, and it's not even a gravy. So it's a sauce. He wants the chicken flayed. So when they flay it, they made sure that all the fat was off of it. So I made sure most of mine was, had their fat off and cleaned up. Okay, so as you can see, we have the fatty side and the side that was already cut for the chicken breast. And try to make them all about the same consistency on thickness. And if it's too fat, just cut it down to the size that you need it. And she said just to fillet it. The lady I watched online. So and I'm going to cut this down just a little bit more. So the recipe calls for um, to shred the or cut the beef down into small small pieces. This is the off-brand that I'm using. Now this off-brand from the package that I got in the lunch meat aisle, um, I was told it wasn't as salty as the stuff in the jar. Okay. And then, we're going to take the stuff up from the jar. I'll show you what it looks like. It comes in just folded over. I don't think we're going to need all that. It's a lot. Reminds me of salami. Hmm. Strange. No liquid at all in it. It's very dry. Okay. So I'm just going to roll it. I'm going to try one. How is it? Salty? It's not real salty. No? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the cut the beef out of the jar. And I'm gonna start with half of the roll. And then I'm just gonna cut it in half from that. Okay. Well, 
not that. No, we need. You like that? Yeah, not these. My baby. Okay, so we got that done. Then I've open the bacon. This is a little bit of prep work, but I think it's worth it. I'll take out about half. Can you get me a ziplock for me, please? So I think this one's for me. My chicken here. And I'm going to take my rolling pin. And I'm going to this out a little bit. And I'm just going to roll this out. I say that, you gotta beat it. <laughs> Works better. You don't want to beat it to death, but you should beat it to where it's thin enough to roll. Start with we'll start with half of the packaged meat and we're just gonna roll it. That's all we do is just and then all we're gonna do is is we're just gonna lay it in the pan just like that. All of them uniform uniformed, uniformal, but formal. <laughs> They're gonna work tuxedo and tie. <laughs> They're all gonna be in the same way and they're all going to go up and down and they're going to be folded and um, rolled in, like that. Okay? Alright. I'm start with that. Okay. Over here, being on the sidebar, being the commentary. There's this piece right here. He's over here whispering and making faces at me. He could be over here helping. Check to see if this mic was even working. It's all right. You're happy with that. It's not one that. Okay. So, as you can see, I've, I've got everything all chicken, all wrapped in nice and tight. So, I wrapped the bacon myself while I was doing all that and instead of double, double stepping. So,
bowl is going to put, I'm going to put it in there, cream of mushroom, you can use cream of chicken if you choose. Now this is on 350 degrees, it says to cook for an hour and a half. At 350 I would cook it for an hour and then I probably will brown it and after the 30 minutes, but I'll let you know when I'm done. And then this is just a regular, I got a 16 ounce sour cream. And I'm going to mix the two together. Now I've got a little garlic powder and a little onion powder. I'm not adding any salt because the beef already has enough salt in it and with the bacon, there's plenty of salt for the world. So, so a little extra flavor. Got to add your touch. Okay. And that's all I'm doing. chicken back and then all we're going to do is, is we're going to put this on top of the chicken and remember I've not tried this yet so I don't know what it's going to taste like or how it's going to turn out I've heard it's very delicious <laughs> you want to grab that? And that's all I'm doing is I'm just spreading it over like that. Just like that. Well, it almost looks like frosting, like a cake. Alright, so it's completely covered. And then I'm going to take some foil. And I'm going to cover it. 350 for an hour. So uh, this side is the part with um, the canned or the jar beef. This one is the packaged beef. We put it on a um, hash brown and my husband fried some green beans. Alright, so I'm going to try the first one. I've never tried this before. And we're using hash brown. I taste the beef. Very creamy. Had a lot of broth to it. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to try the one that was in the package. See if there's a difference. Wow. Those in the jar had more salty taste to it. The one in the package does not. But for the overall taste, it doesn't change either way. I use it. Just other than the over salt, the jar, the beef in the jar has a lot more salt. But other than that, the rope really good. All right. Bye, guys. Catch me on the next video.